Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the recent past and present energies for you in love for the month of September. What do you need to know? Who you might be dealing with? What are their energies towards you? And what's the possible outcome? So let's jump right in. For Virgo spirit. What does Virgo need to know spirit? Oof, if I could grab my deck. Does Virgo need to know? What in the world? <laughs> I can't put my like forearm down here on the on the left, so I can't like find my balance. <laughs> For Virgo, what do they need to know, Spirit, regarding love in the month of September? What guidance, what messages do you have? For Virgo, what do they need to know? What does Virgo need to know for the month of September? Let's start with the recent past. What are the recent past energy spirit for Virgo? Recent past energies for Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you've been busy. <laughs> um, or love has been busy. Maybe you've been putting an effort into a connection or into yourself, into your business, um, or someone is putting an effort into love, uh, working on this connection. Maybe you've been trying to meet new people. Maybe you've been putting yourself out there, trying to work at this love stuff, this dating stuff. Recent past energies, please, for Virgo. Anything else you need to know? The magician. Oh, yeah. You've been actively working on something related to love or a particular relationship, Virgo. Maybe you're manifesting the partner that you that you would like. Um, actively working on yourself, working on, like I said, putting yourself out there in dating. Or you're manifesting a connection where you both put in equal effort. Maybe you did meet someone recently and you're both working on this together, which is great. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are manifesting getting a cup of love. The page of cups is here at the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like you're trying to invite something into your life here. And let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Current energies, please. Current energies for Virgo in love for this month of September. Current energies for Virgo, please, spirit. What are the current energies for Virgo in love? Wow, the Ace of Swords. So you're definitely getting some sort of clarity or information or communication coming in here. Maybe you're talking to someone or having a deep conversation, an important conversation. Let's see what else we need to know about this. Current energies, please, for Virgo. Current energies, please, for Virgo in love. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you're reminding me a little bit about Taurus here because... Taurus got the two of pentacles with the knight of swords. So I feel like whatever conversation this is, you have a decision to make about it. Maybe you're talking to a lot of people. Maybe you're talking to several people that you're dating and you have to decide who you want to continue with. Maybe you're already in a connection with someone and you're having a very important conversation. Maybe you're deciding what your future holds, you know, where this is going and you have a decision to make about it or you're just not sure about what you're hearing. So that's what's coming in into the present here. Um, I feel like you're weighing your options, trying to figure out what to do with this information, this communication. What are the challenges or issues for Virgo? Any challenges, issues for Virgo regarding love? Okay. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, that's a great challenge to have. Um, so when I have um, a card like this in like a challenge position or when I ask about a challenge and a card like this comes up, I always think that opportunity, that offer, that message from that card is, a cha is challenged or blocked, right? Okay, let's ask one more. What are the challenges, issues here for Virgo spirit? Challenges, issues, please. For Virgo. Yeah, again, it's a decision. Okay, five of cups at the bottom of the deck. So 
I think the challenger issue, again, very similar to Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, if you have Taurus in your chart, make sure you check out that reading. Um, I think the challenger issue here for you is making this decision. Uh, maybe there's something about this offer coming. Maybe this Knight of uh, Ace of Swords is an offer coming in, right? Maybe someone's talking to you, proposing something to you, inviting you on a date, inviting you to go study, something like that. Um, maybe you're meeting several people, but you have to choose one. The challenge is making that choice, making that decision, determining which one to go with, what path to go down. I feel like you don't wanna have any regrets. You don't wanna make any mistakes with the Five of Cups. Um, maybe you just don't wanna end up being disappointed. Um, some of you might have had um, some sort of losses when it comes to love, like maybe you missed out on a great love or you missed someone or it didn't work out. Uh, the Five of Swords behind that. So I feel like some of you just don't wanna get hurt or disappointed again. And this decision has the, you know, there's that chance that you could be hurt again um, with the decision that you make, right? That's, that's the challenger issue here. Let's get some oracle cards so we can look more at this energy. I'm gonna be using the Stellar Energy Oracle. This is the second edition. It's not available just yet. I'm just playing around with it, but I can't tell you the back design will be changing. So it's not gonna look exactly like you see it here. All right, Spirit, what are the energies for Virgo in love for the month of September? What's the energy for Virgo? Overall energy, please, for Virgo in love for the month of September. Overall energy for Virgo in love. Overall energy for Virgo, this one. Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. Now this could be, and again, Taurus got a very similar card. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but keep in mind that that video is out there. <laughs> past life, it could be that you have had a past life history with someone that you're meeting, communicating with, or in a relationship with. But it could also be that someone from the past is making you some sort of offer or like I told Taurus, maybe your decision has to do with choosing between the old and the new, right? So you could be dealing with a past life here. Let's get an ever after Oracle as well. This deck is already available on Etsy. If you wanna check it out, it's linked down in the description box. All right, for Virgo spirit, what's the energy? What's the energy for Virgo? What's the energy, please? Overall energy for love. For Virgo, what do we need to know? Pot of gold, abundance, stability, treasure. I feel like this is what a lot of you want. It's reminding me of this Ace of Pentacles. Stability, abundance, right? A good opportunity, something with a lot of value. What else? What else do we need to know for Virgo? Regarding love, what's the overall energy for Virgo? Regarding love. Magic carpet, speed, action, movement. Okay, so I feel like there's this opportunity will take you somewhere. Maybe it's a, uh, something that moves quickly. Maybe it's someone taking action to make you this offer and it's happening quickly, setting things in motion. Things are happening fast communications happening fast. Something about this I feel is gonna create movement or action. Bottom of the deck is once upon a dream. I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. So again, some of you, this could be someone from the past coming in. Uh, others of you, it could be a past life connection, but it's a special connection, whatever, whatever you fall under here. There's something special about this connection. Let me put this here. All right, so let's find out about this person. What do we need to know about this individual that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know about their energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? Death, Scorpio energy, and then I want to get this one too. And the Knight of Wands. 
Okay, so again, this is reminding me, the Knight of Wands is reminding me of this fast action of the magic carpet, movement, action, initiative, something coming in hot, something happening very quickly. This definitely would be like the card for like a hot and fiery romance, right? Something that moves very quickly. But when I see it with death, it could be that you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone that has Scorpio in their chart, Virgo. But I'm also getting like there, this action is causing some sort of changes or transformation here. Let me see. Let me clarify death. Why is death here? Spare, what can you tell me about death? Okay. The king of wands so again someone i feel is taking action here specifically to change transform or end something to have a new beginning aries leo sagittarius energy page of pentacles also flipped over here so i feel whoever you're dealing with they could be a fire sign they could be a scorpio that's doesn't not really relevant to me um, i feel like this is more just someone's energy in terms of what they're doing so they're making some quick action making taking initiative coming in hot whoever this is is coming in hot and taking action and that will lead to some sort of change for you or some sort of ending or transformation because death is really about transformation it's an ending for a new beginning like they're connected it's not like the ten of swords that it's just something ended um, here the dawn is rising in the back of this card so even though it's nighttime the dawn is approaching so it's an ending for a rebirth okay so let's get some insight um bottom of the deck is the knight of cups by the way so an apology an expression of love expressing their feelings i'm going to use a ps i love you deck here this is also available on my etsy shop okay so let's see what is this person's energies towards virgo I feel like they're coming in hot and I feel like they have something to tell you with this Knight of Cups. Maybe they're apologizing for a previous ending. Maybe they're coming in after an ending of some sort, an ending between you or an ending they had in their own life. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo still holding on so if you have a history with this person or if this is someone from your past life they're still holding on to this connection still having feelings for you here still holding on to you bottom of the deck we have my feelings for you have not changed wow okay can we get one more what else? Tell me about this person's energies towards Virgo, please. What are this person's energies towards Virgo? Unwavering love. So this, this person's feelings have not wavered, Virgo. Whether this is someone from a past life or this is so, like if, it, if they're from, the pa from your past life, when you meet them, you're going to feel like you've met them your whole life. Like you've already know so much about them. You already... The connection is so deep so quickly. That's typically what happens with like a past life connection, in my opinion. Um, but if it's someone from the past, I feel like they're still holding on. Their feelings have not changed. Their feelings have not wavered when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection. Um, bottom of the deck, we have no contact. So this could be somebody that you haven't been talking to. Um, I don't think that's changed their mind, though. Okay, so where is all of this headed? What's the possible outcome here, Spirit, for Virgo? What's the possible outcome here for Virgo? Possible outcome here for Virgo. Wow, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have a choice to make. You have to choose what you want to do, Virgo. You have many options to choose from many ways you can go about this maybe you're a bit confused unsure what to do possible outcome please for it for virgo possible outcome please 
for Virgo. Yeah, the high priestess. So, okay. So what I see here is have, you're going to have to listen to your intuition. For some of you, that's the key. You have to listen to your gut, listen to your instincts about this decision that you're making. For others of you, I'm getting a different message. Um, okay, yeah, the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so if you're in that first boat, listening to your intuition, listening to your gut when making a decision, you need to do that rather than think about the possible ways this could go wrong. Because I feel like that's where your mind might go. Um, I don't see a future here. I don't see how this could work. You know, I don't think that that's really relevant. I think you need to go with your gut, with your instincts, with your intuition. Others of you, I feel like this decision that you're making, this offer that's coming in, there's something about it that you don't know all of the answers. You don't know everything. It's almost like when this person comes in to talk to you, to, to make an offer, they cannot give you any details. They cannot tell you exactly how something would happen. You know, there's like questions that linger because you're not getting all of the information. And so I think that's why the challenge here is having to make this decision. I don't think this person, when they, like, let's say there's someone from the past or a past life and they come towards you and they make you this offer and you have questions, they're going to be like, I haven't figured that out yet. I just know that I want to be with you. That's the energy I'm picking up, especially if they're ending something or if you've had a previous ending, maybe you, you're not getting the closure that you needed, or maybe they're still wrapping up something in their own life that's not completely over. No matter what boat you fall under, I feel like you're going to have to take a leap of faith here. And I think that that's hard for you to do because you don't have all of the answers. You don't have all of the information that you would want to have to make this decision. So that's why you have to go with your gut on this one, Virgo. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. If you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love at home, doing your own readings, I do have a book all about that. It's called Love Tarot Made Easy, and it's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping. It's linked down below in the description box, along with all of the Oracle decks that I've designed and are for sale. Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. Hopefully this resonated for you. If it did uh, and you feel comfortable sharing, I would love to hear from you in the comments and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.